Today at Coyote Classics, it's my pleasure to bring uh, you this 1974 Olds Cutlass Supreme, absolutely gorgeous, triple black, original 56,777, original two owner miles. Previous owner um, stated that this car is 100% original. He even said that the paint is original. He's owned the car for the past 20 years. Uh, he also said he was the second owner. Um, he purchased this car for his wife uh, back 20 years ago and uh, took it to many shows, took uh, tons of trophies with it, and just had an absolute ball with it. He just wasn't uh, driving as much as he used to and uh, decided to sell it. So. Absolutely gorgeous, triple black, 1974, Oldsmobile, Cutlass, Supreme. Now as we go underneath the hood of this thing, if you look at the bottom side of the hood, the paint is gorgeous, it still shines beautifully. Hood matte installations in great shape. If you look underneath the hood, it's powered by a numbers matching 354 barrel rocket. Comes equipped with uh, power steering, power front disc brakes, working air conditioning, cruise control, and does have tilt steering wheel. It's got a new Napa Legend battery. Engine compartment appears to be all original, motors original, trannies original. It's just a fantastic running driving car. As we look across the top of the hood to the top of the fender, the gap is absolutely perfect. Uh, lines up very nicely across there. There is a couple little paint imperfections, a couple little chips right here you can see, right along this area. Other than that, as we look across the hood, the paint looks beautiful. Got a little paint chip here that's been touched up. Hood gap across the top of the fender is excellent as well on the passenger side. As we come here to the front bumper and grill, front balance, everything looks great, all original. This trim around the headlight eyebrows and stuff are in great shape. The grill's in fantastic original condition. You're gonna look a long time to find anything even close to this 1974 Olds condition, especially in a black car, black vinyl top, black bucket seat console interior. As we go here to the passenger side front fender, the fender looks to be in excellent condition, paints very nice on it. Uh, no bubbles or blisters in the lower fender. We've got front disc brakes, brand new set of Kreger SS's. When well, I say new, they're like new anyway, I don't know how old they are. Uh, 215, 75-15's on the front. Uh, they got Hancocks on them as far as the uh, tire tread goes. We've got really good tire tread on the front as well. Check out the gap right here with the hood, how that fits coming down into the door. Really nice even gap all the way to the bottom. The corners of the doors are excellent, but I don't see any chips or any issues anywhere in this passenger side door. Um, even the body side molding is in fantastic shape still. So. One little paint chip right there. A quarter panel is excellent, uh, no issues there at all. Over the wheel well is perfect, behind the rear wheel is in great shape as well. Uh, if you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, uh, you'll see about 20 or 30 pictures of the undercarriage on this remarkable car. Uh, floors, frame, trunk, everything's immaculate. If we look inside the trunk, it is definitely the cleanest GM trunk I've ever seen in my entire life here. Uh, original speckling, looks like it's still clear coated, it looks so nice. Original spare jack, trunk mat, everything, and, and you'll see that on our own website as well. As we go to the black original top, there's absolutely no bubbles, blisters, any issues here on the passenger side as we go to the top of it. Um, same thing, just very nice and tight. Now these cutlasses have a really nice distinctive back window where it kind of comes to a point here and curves. Really cool. Uh, 
back end on these cars. As we look up and down the sides, I don't see a ripple, a door ding anywhere on this passenger side. One of the straightest black cars I've seen in a long time, especially for being an original car. Uh, as far as the uh, back bumper goes, excellent original condition. Tail light areas right here, the uh, all in fantastic shape as well. We got a little chip right here on the trunklet and then one right across from it, just very small. You can see some little micro scratches and stuff like that in the top of the quarter paint. Uh, I'm guessing that stuff would all be buffed out. We didn't buff it, it came in so clean, we didn't even touch it with a buffer. As far as uh, tail lights and stuff here, all the uh, backup lights and everything, and the chrome trim, where you put in your gas, lid door, all that stuff is still excellent condition. Original rubber still. As we open these doors, um, I'm guessing this car has always been garaged by the condition anyway, but when it was new, obviously they Z-barred it at all. That's what those little plugs are. And that just made it uh, that much solider even underneath, so it never did rust. Corners of the doors, perfect. Door pane is excellent. Hey okay, guys, you can take this car, in my opinion, buy it, get it off the trailer, take it right to a car show, and you're gonna have crowds of people walking around this car. Um, you just do not see a mid-70s car with buckets, console, black on black on black, in this kind of condition. Inside uh, door jams, perfect. Corner of the door is excellent. As we look at the door panel itself, sorry, I know we got a little brightness here. As we look at the door panel itself, it's in fantastic shape. It's your ashtray. Armrest is perfect. The grab handle is in great shape. There is a little spot on that chrome right here that's chipped out, but the grab handle still works perfectly. It's your original wood grain here in the door panel. So on this corner here, you can see that it's just wrinkled just a little bit. Again, that's all original. The carpet on the door panel and the plastic is excellent. As we look at the dash itself, um, the dash itself is in fantastic shape and there again, a gorgeous dash. So it has a nice contour, contour that comes out. It's got the, the nice AC vents here. Go ahead and turn our AC on. Um, plastic pillars up here are great. Above the uh, visors, the headliner is perfect. It's got a mirror here. It's got the original Ozenville sticker still here, guys. I mean, that's I mean, that's just a sticker too. So, um, seatbelt interlock system tells all about that. If starter will not operate, check the following, all that kind of stuff. Rear view mirror is crystal clear. It's got the antenna and the windshield. And just on the way out here, I'm not real sure how to make that work, but we were listening to this factory Oldsmobile uh, A-Track. It was working perfectly on the way out here. I took the A-Track out, I just think it takes a while to warm it back up again, but it does work. Um, it's got an AM FM converter on it as well. Uh, the steering wheel's like brand new still. Check out that steering wheel, guys. It's got a tilt column. Also has cruise control, the gas gauge works. Uh, 56,771 actual miles on that odometer. <laughs> Horn works, air conditioning is cold. As we go in here to the, uh, the glove box, it's got the, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that and leave that open. That works, because I wanna show you guys how nice that trunk is. Um, all the original uh, paperwork here, the uh, maintenance schedule, still here. Factory Z-Bart, here we go. Um, see what they charged for that. $101 back in uh, 1974 for a factory Z bar. Um, they got the delivery, yeah, they got all the original paperwork, guys, when this thing was sold new. Um, what's this here? Here's your, uh, you can see this, um, your pre delivery service and adjustment checkout sheet. It was sold brand new in Waterloo, Iowa. That's 45 minutes from here in Green. So this car has uh, lived uh, in Iowa its whole life, it looks like. Again, there's just tons and tons, all the original stuff, original owner's manual, everything's there. So it's 
all comes with it. Inside the glove box is immaculate. Well, the customer, since this has lights, guys, over here, factory lights, the, uh, one of the previous owners did go ahead and put uh, Stuart Warner gauges in it, and they're all working properly except for the temp. Uh, the oil pressure works, I guess, but temp gauge is not working. Um, amp gauge shows it's not working either, so I'll have to check on those gauges, but um, carries really good oil pressure. Air conditioning works. As far as the rest of it goes, the headliner is absolutely mint. I don't see any issues in the headliner. Check out the uh, factory seat covers, all embroidered, all from the factory. The seat is in immaculate condition. It's got the retractable seat belts. The console wood grain is perfect. The wood grain on the dash, on the radio, everything is just immaculate in this car. Check out the little cup holder and stuff in here. That works perfect, it's not busted, same thing in here. I'm hoping this uh, tells the tale of how nice this car is. Even in the glove box, as we open this up, that light works, guys. And the glove box isn't busted up at all. Uh, the seat back isn't scratched, it's an immaculate shape. The back seat, back shelf, back door panels, everything's excellent back there. Again, I'm not sure if it's original paint or if it's been repainted once. The previous owner said it was original paint. That's kind of all I can go by, but the paint looks super, super nice on the car. Here's our inside of the trunk. It still has all of its original jack instructions and stuff. And I, I kind of think that all looks original as well. If we look in here. Original trunk rubber, still nice and pliable, but check this trunk out. I mean, that is just absolutely immaculate. There's your jack and spare. Spare tire is the old uh, original spare still in it. Original quarters. I mean, this car is... <laughs> one of a kind that's for sure um, we kind of went around the back already so we'll kind of hurry through that um, as we look at the driver's side it is just as straight just as nice as the passenger laser straight look at the bottom of the quarters here factory pinch welds all the paint looks great there a couple little chips but a lot of those things I think are just a lot of it's just little Little bugs and dust and stuff, that'll all come off. Um, if you can pick on anything, there's two tiny, I mean tiny, little tiny nubs right here under that vinyl top. Just two. Other than that, it's absolutely perfect. There's your porthole windows. I might be kind of spending a little extra time on this car, guys, but I really need you to know just how nice this is. I mean, this car is top-notch, classic. Um, as far as our tire size on the back, we got 275 6015s wrapped around these Craggers. Wheel well trim is great. No bubbles, blisters, nothing like that on the door. Lower fender is excellent. Gaps nice on the back of the door. Check out how that hood matches up to the top of the fender, top of the door. Dalton's with me today. Um, we're just gonna kinda check out, uh, see how this thing drives. As we go inside the door here, it's got the factory stickers, the tire pressure, uh, factory uh, VIN uh, sticker here. Corner of the door. Um, driver's side door panel is, is in excellent condition. Kind of the same kind of things. We got just a little crack in that. I'll sit here so you can see a little better. Just a little wrinkle here in that, uh, that little 
sticker here and a little crack in that sticker right there, that vinyl decal. <clears throat> Check this out guys. I mean this is, this looks like it's brand new still. Two speed wipers. Looks to me like the washers aren't working on it. But look at the inside of this corner of this door. Um, inside the door jam, I mean, like I said guys, it, Whoever buys this car is going to be super happy with it. Um, we did shut the doors um, kind of hard, but this, these are big, heavy doors, and they shut fine, but and they latch good, but you just have to shut them a little bit. Uh, as far as our tilt, we got tilt wheel, cruise control here. Kind of went through everything else. We talked about that the air worked. Um, Original cassette came with the car. Yeah, and I'm just not sure. I Unfortunately, I took this thing out. It was working perfect before. Like I said, the A track was working before. It just took a while to come on. But it's got this converter over here too, and I'm not sure what to do different there. Um, Dalton, when you just came into the radio, yeah, you were listening to the radio. Yeah, you were showing me the old Yeah, cassette. so he knows how to all work it. But the radio, AM, FM, and everything was working. Yep. Good. Yep. So. Um, another thing, we just went ahead and went through these gears really easily. I mean, listen to our tranny mounts and motor mounts. I mean, there is absolutely no jump into any of those gears. Super quiet going down the road. Whoever buys this car is just gonna be super impressed with it. There's just no doubt in my mind. Uh, the dash pad, kind of we talked about here. Um, about the front of the dash pad, but as we look over the top of the dash pad, it's perfect. I don't see any issues whatsoever, any cracks or nothing like that. The steering is just super easy to turn. We were lucky here in Iowa. It's, um, the end of August and we woke up this morning to about 56 degrees, so just absolutely gorgeous day. Perfect. Transmission kick down works perfect. There's absolutely no hands on the steering wheel and it's driving nice and straight down the road. Uh, gas gauge works and the speedometer works. So, so far the only thing I found that's not working is the windshield washer squirters. Tranny has a very nice uh, smooth shift. We have the power disc brakes in the front, absolutely no pull left or right. Does not need an alignment. I mean, this car is just ready to go. If you want to put some miles on it, or you can drive it cross country.